Uh, certainty, cash and capability. Certainty, first of all, I think with Brexit looming, farmers are very unsure about where their future is going to be. And therefore, they're somewhat loath to invest because they're concerned that maybe their market will even be swept from underneath them. Cash, because margins typically in the agriculture sector are quite thin. So when you combine margins with the uncertainty in the marketplace, it, it, there is no real ability for the farmers to invest. And the third element is capability. The UK food and drink industry is well known for its history and its heritage, but that is not going to drive us into the future. We'll need completely new capabilities and new skills in order to deliver. I think it will help because I think it does give the farmers a degree of certainty. Certainly the clean growth challenge combined with Michael Gove's vision sort of suggests that there's going to be a much greater drive towards clean growth and environmental and sustainability. In fact, if the support payment structure is even linked to uh, improving environmental performance and sustainability, then there's a real incentive to get there. Combine that with the fact that globally there is a consumer drive and demand for products that are produced with less environmental impact, then certainly the drivers are there. Where AFTP can help is clearly in delivering the technology, the new processes, the new systems that we'll need. We have a fairly aged workforce within the food and drink industry and within agriculture, and it won't be those people that are going to carry the, the, the industry into the future. So we really look at AFTP to provide those, both those new technologies and new learnings and processes, but also the, the new entrants into our marketplace that will drive us into the future.